certification is that you may have a knowledge and many times you have a good products but if they are not packaged well you don't buy them okay so for me uh, certification is just a good packaging so uh, it's, it's, it's not sufficient to become a good professional you don't learn a lot of things which are needed to in order to become a good professional but you need to do some packaging so people start recognizing your product so that is how I treat certification and definitely it adds some packaging value many certifications uh, can be acquired easily some certification requires some effort but most of the certification required spending money in acquiring them and maintaining them so uh, that is 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 always there so what are the queries because we don't have a presentation we don't have a specific way of handling this session it's more about answering queries issues related to certifications so what are the expectations questions okay yeah. i i don't know about the entire audience i can tell you my perspective of that i am a certified scrum master i am looking towards uh, gaining the next level which is certified scrum professional okay so uh, i mean and this is my first conference i am attending good so one one expectation is how to become csp from csm yeah. okay so how many of you can relate to this particular problem 1 2 3 4 5 okay so a journey from CSM to CSP. What else? When, when we are learning about World Code Agile, is it necessary to do the DNA EAP certification? Okay, so a relevance of traditional project management certifications. Yes. Okay, so PMP, this is a specific query which you are talking about. PMP relevance. We are not talking about how to do PMP. Exactly. Uh, uh, so, is it relevant? Is it needed? And uh, PMI, okay. PMI, ASP, ACP. ACP. <laughs> so Roger is here or no? No, he left. Good. So. CSM. Which one is better, PMI, ACP, or CSP? Okay, so what is, let us, let's talk about what is PMI ACP, why one should do it, versus and ACP. versus certified scrum professional. Yes. Yes. Okay. And also I am hearing that uh, PMI ACP is uh, better to do safe now than okay. PMI ACP around. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it all depends on your budget, man. We can sell you everything. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> And you can say that, okay, my budget is unlimited uh, till the time I am getting value out of it. Yes. So if I can make more money, why not? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So safe. What else? PBA. PBA? How many of you have heard of profit, uh, business analysis certificate called PBA? Just okay. now I have gone just, just heard of, okay. Yeah, yeah. She is a PBA. Who? <laughs> there are only few, I think 20 PBAs in India as of now. It's a new certificate, so we don't have many professional business analysts as of now. So see, certification people are here. Roger was here, he left. Now, but CSM, I can't say anything wrong about it. <laughs> okay, PMI, PBA. Yes. Okay, uh, so how many of you have heard of Certified Scrum Coach? Okay, heard of. So we can talk about it. Yes, the answer is yes. Okay. Uh, but let's talk about, this is a bit advanced. So we will see according to our time box. And, and we will see that if we well, can... What is the difference between uh, Certified Scrum Coach and Certified Scrum Trainer? Yeah. Okay, we we'll talk about that also. This gives me money, this it doesn't. A jail coach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you get a chance to see our uh, hangout which I did with uh, Sunil Mundra? If not, uh, uh, we will talk about it, but do look at it. So we have a Discuss Agile YouTube channel. So if you go to youtube.com slash Discuss Agile, uh, we did two hangouts, one with the Sunil Mundra Thoughtworks, he is an Agile coach consultant. Another we did with uh, Shekhar Bura, mm -hmm. he is moving here and there, after this we, he, his session is there. So, no, finally he is working. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Shekhar Bura also spoke about a lot of uh, coaching thing. Yeah. 
I think for all that, I think we are done with it. It's too much for 45 minutes. So from where to start? First one. First one is the most prominent one. Certification wala hai, in case you want to <laughs> talk about it. Okay. Jo ki ek bar AC ke duwara bol. So what is certified? How many of you are certified from uh, master CSM? So this is the only desk which is not yet CSM. Rest, most of you are certified Scrum Master. So uh, Scrum Alliance. Let's understand what is this Scrum certifications are all about. So there is a body called Scrum Alliance. Okay. And Scrum Alliance runs certifications like CSM, CSP, CSP, CSC, CST, and something also called Certified Scrum Developer. But nobody wants to become developer. CSPO. Yeah. CSPO. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they, they have these certifications. So CSM is the most popular certificate in India. Approximately 16,000 people are CSM certified. So in India at, at this point in time. So once you become CSM, uh, how to become CSM? Just within two days of training. After that, you can give a basic exam, which is open book exam. You get 90 days window. It's not like that you have to finish it as you start it. You can do it in a multiple attempt, and it's a pretty achievable thing. Yeah, uh, so it's a pretty achievable thing. So that is CSM is all about. Now, once you become CSM, you can look for becoming certified Scrum professional. So in order to become a certified Scrum professional, there are two primary requirements or three primary requirements. One is that you need to be either this this or this basic certificate so either CSM, CSP or CSD after that you need to have a three years of scrum experience now you should be working in scrum for three years and it could be in a different different role uh, that's the, the second requirement of uh, uh, certified scrum professional the third requirement is you need to acquire 1770 scrum educational units yeah. <coughs> No, there is no relationship with when you do CSM and when you do experience. There are many of our clients who have done CSP within a month of doing CSM. So there is no relationship. Same time. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so there is no relation. Now, so how do you show, how do they approve, how do they validate that do really work for three years in a scrum? It's all about your description and they trust you, first thing. So until unless somebody complains against you, they don't they don't come and say anything. Your experience, your description should talk about it. So they will give you a, a challenging questions which are not easy, but you need to write and type that what, what you have done as a scrum professional, how, how your journey have, have, have been as a certified scrum professional for uh, uh, for uh, sorry as a scrum professional for last three years. So you need to write good English. That's the, the three years. And after that you need to acquire 70 scrum education. The first two criteria is clear? Yeah. One thing, see, uh, last time when we discussed, you said that you know it's better to wait till you get 80 odd points. But I think when you file for the CSP, they just will take the 70, 70. Yeah, so the third point I will talk. Uh, so third point is the Scrum Education Unit. Any query on the first two points? Yeah. Education is clear, experience is clear. Yeah. That experience can be as, uh, as a member of Scrum Team also? Anything. Any Out of any Scrum role. How many Scrum role do we have? Three. 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 So development team, QA scrum master, team. no QA team, no. development team. No. <laughs> okay. Scrum team. No development QA team. So uh, scrum team is the total. So development team, scrum master, product owner, okay. anything out of these three could be a different different roles. Three years. Okay. After that, the magic comes for seventy SEUs. Now recommendation is you earn more. So if you have any case, like our Varun had, they reject 5, they reject 6, you have another to push it. So it makes the process easy. Even Scrum Alliance says that you can apply more. So says that don't, don't hesitate to apply more than required SEUs. So ideally, I always recommend not to apply with 70 SEUs, but try to push 80 SEUs. And they are easy to acquire. So how, how is it work? See, Scrum Alliance's way of learning and teaching is you need to do community events. They don't believe in that you, you read something, prepare well, and pass the exam. So their way of looking at certified Scrum professional is that you should spend time interacting, doing learning for a while so that you can write, it, write about it and then we can evaluate and say yes, you are certified Scrum professional. 
So it's not an exam based thing, it's a community based learning thing. And that is why they have designed the process in such a way. Many, many times people think, okay, certified scrum professional, anybody can earn and become certified scrum professional, there is no exam. But yeah, there could be a counter argument, anybody can run through a lot of, or lot of thing and become X certified and may no, don't know about anything. So if you just don't want to use, uh, again, I go back to why certification is just a branding thing. So you can't sell a bad product with good brand, uh, good packaging. So you need to have a good product, so you must learn and package it back. So 70 SEUs, this session, this, this two days event gives you 16 SEUs. 16 SEUs you already have from your Scrum Master training. So you are already purely done with 32 SEUs. Then there are lots of academy, we have videos, blogs on it, but just to simplify it, if you have attended this conference, there is a high probability that you can match the total within this month. So yeah, uh, okay, let's take a one case study, yeah, just show it how, how the total can be matched and then we come back here. Anybody interest, everybody interested in doing that? Yes. yes. Okay, so most of you want to become certified scrum professional. How many certified scrum professionals are there in India? How do I know all this? I just attended regional scrum gathering and there was a slide on it. <laughs> okay. So I just captured all those things and say, okay, I will talk about it. So how many certified scrum professionals do we have in India? Not 300. 300. Yes, 300. So uh, yeah, 300 certified scrum professionals in India against 16,000 CSMs. Yes. So we should have at least 16,000. 19, okay, 19, bigger number. Okay, 19,000 CSMs. <laughs> 19 silo CSM, only 3 and he is Shekhar Burat, the CSC, okay, he will be talking next and we will talk about a uh, lot of CSC things. <laughs> okay, get back to SEUs, <laughs> got back to SEUs, so you get from, so there is a categories, so the training which you attend from Scrum Alliance or from registered education provider by going to a face to face training like CSM gives you a category B SEUs and you already have category B SEUs by earning your CSM, so I am keeping this simple. I am not talking more detail about uh, uh, categories. Then this particular event falls under category A and gives you 16. Then there is a something called category E which is a self learning thing. So you learn by way of reading book or you learn by way of watching videos, anything which you do on your own. You can claim fi up to 15 SEUs in that category and that category is called category E. e yes. So you get up to 15 here. So 32 plus 15? 47. 47. So you are done with 47. How much left? The magic, the gap is? Hmm? 23. 23. 23. Now there are various options here. Now with this conference we did lot of events. We did meetups, we did online events. So if you have been attending them, they all falls under category A and you can claim against it if you have been attending it. So that's the one option. Option two, if I look back at your previous thing and you pick something else. For example, if you pick safe, you get 15. 15. So, uh, 15 under category C. So these 23s can be fixed, but you need to decide your approach. If you want to take some time to discuss agile only, you will get sufficient opportunity to fill these 23. But yeah, it may take time, say three, four months. But if you want to do it in hurry, then maybe you look for something else. Something but else from the slide. Before. I was just going through the pamphlet. It was showing for uh, say, uh, it is some 30 38 SEU. Yeah. You, that's an eyes in my company's SEU thing. Okay, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> now this was an eyes in product you So we do have a way to do that. Just to simplify your process, out of those 38, 15 are coming from category E and rest we provide. So we provide 15 plus 7, 15 plus 8 at 23. Yeah, so you can just buy and, and get certified. So that is a fast way of doing it. Uh, so rather than, so we, we have a lot of fast way of doing it which can make you within a month. But yeah, there is a, a free ways also which may take some time. Especially to those people who got engaged with us at, at a bit late. People who were with us for, for a month or more, we provided enough opportunity to earn a series. Yeah, in last one month. We, we provided enough opportunities. But yeah, if you are just thinking of, then it may take some time. Okay, so after getting all this, you need to compile and push the application. How much money does it take? Yeah. Is there any issues of providing training within the organization? Yes. 
So there is a uh, there is an SU, there is a category F. So you need to take that training as a code training. You can't say that I have been training it. So this category F is is a type of learning which you learn by doing a code training. Not learning, but providing. So just watch my words. <laughs> so providing training is nowhere uh, uh, there. But if you do code training with someone and uh, and take it as an opportunity to learn it, that is that can fall under category F. The second is if you have received any agile training, any agile training in your organization, any agile training, you can claim it under category <coughs> C, up to 15. So if you have been through any agile training, this two days of agile training can give you 15. If you have co-trained with someone, you can claim up to 15. Category F. No. If it is certified by Scrum Alliance, it falls under category B. So there is an open category, which is category C, which recognizes training by anyone. One, uh, can but it has to be a face-to-face -face training, not a video training. One can take the benefit if somebody is not the practi is certified practitioner, but it, the person is working as an, uh, a coach in the company. Yes, anyone. Anyone who, who was teaching a child okay. can fall under category C. So special category, max limit is 15. Uh, category C, how will I know how much point I have got? I will have to speak to that coach who is giving No, me so it is like if you have spent one point is equal to one hour and in a one day maximum eight hours. Simple. Okay. So you do a self declaration. You should have some, so you need to write it well that what you have learned it. You need to attach or you need to paste the course content of it so they can evaluate that yes, it is it is about Scrum. And if you do these two things, then it's good. Okay. Maximum thing they can ask is they may ask the name of the trainer or whatever. So there are various ways. So you may need to put some uh, 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 trick to get it uh, fast. Uh, if you do something else, you you may get, uh, get this. And how much money you have to pay? One fifty plus hundred. Hundred dollar for for applying the application. And then one fifty dollar once the application is approved. The initial hundred dollars are non-refundable. Mm -hmm. So they just go. Yeah. And and hundred dollars is for the application. Yes. The application. So the total is two hundred fifty. So if you just take an expense for certified scrum professional, it's just a two hundred fifty dollar. But yeah, you may you may end up attaching something with with training. That is it's a separate issue. I would just like to add one point. Yeah, please. Uh, I applied for uh, CSP. Okay, then I had short of funds, so I wrote them that okay, after two after they accept your application, within two three months you have to pay the next one. Okay. okay. But if you are short of fund, you write to them that I need another five, six, six months to pay the next 150 and they accept it. Okay, okay. so they, then they gave you a time. So that they gave me answer. another three months. And yeah. in that time you are, you are CSP? No, 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 no. You, do, you are not CSP. You are not CSP. You are not CSP. So well, once you pay, then only you become CSP. CSP. <laughs> but why, my reason was that I did a CSM. Okay, so after, because if I do a CSP... You got your 70 right? approved, 70 or Yes, yes. yes. That's so good. The application got approved. Now, uh, uh, the people who have done CSP say one year ago, the process was quite lenient that time. Now it is becoming gradually stringent. So, yet I have not seen that their CSP was denied. Uh, that that situation I have not yet seen. And we coach a lot of people for for certified scrum professional. So that situation we have not seen. But they do ask a lot of questions. If you don't provide the URL of the training, they will ask for it. If you say I have read the book, they will ask who was the writer. What was the content about? You need to explain about your learning. If the learnings are not not very coming out, they will ask queries. So you need to fill your application good in, in a better way if you want to get it processed fast. Else, it will take time. Yeah, yeah, just to discuss, yeah. I reviewed a couple of CSP applications last week, and uh, they did not even mention their learnings properly, and uh, they did not uh, mention their challenges on job also. So I just sent them back asking a lot of questions and then they have to now respond to me within a month or something. We'll give you a time box to them or something. But don't don't fill the application just for sake of filling it. You have to mention, highlight your learnings. You have to mention your challenges, on-job challenges. So filling the application is really important and you have to be very careful in filling the application. Great point. So one question, you have to review this for three months? No, yeah, I don't take any money from you. No, no. <laughs> so yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a role of a certified scrum coach. It, it is a free. I review CSCs, I review CSPs also. Okay. okay.
Good, good point. This was for audience. So, good point. Uh, done with the CSP conversation. Uh, Move next. Yeah. Uh, how many SEUs we need to uh, basically maintain this? 40. 40. Every so, year. Every two years. Every two good years. Good question. Every two years you need to earn 40 SEUs. The good part is there is no category limit. In that case, you can even even <coughs> put all 40s under self learning. Okay. So for renewal, they don't have they do have a categories, mm -hmm. but they don't have a caps. So but renewal is pretty easy and again idea of CSC is you should keep coming to events like this. Yes. Uh, so if you really use your CSP well, you don't have to worry about it. One more question. Uh, once somebody is CSP, uh, so the person is CSM, CSP. So for maintaining CSM you need uh, different SEUs no, for maintaining no, no. CSM. So now till now CSM is not linked with SEUs. Huh. It, it may get linked soon. That is something Scrum Alliance is planning for. But the other point is that if, if you have a CSP, if you renew your CSP, your CSM, CSP, or CSG, all the below certificate automatically get renewed. So you don't have to pay the fee twice. So if you pay $250 every two years, huh. you get all the bottom certification and, uh, done. And otherwise to renew CSM, how much we need? $100. CSM is $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100.
So but, uh, it is a history of everything. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a mixture of everything. So the good part is you get a you get an overview of many things. The bad part is you don't get a one consistent way of doing it. Then it's not a, a like a pinbuck. Now many people who have been doing PMP and other things, they feel that okay, they do PMI ACP. PMI will tell us how to do do agile. They don't. They won't recommend how to do agile. They will say yeah, in agile, few people work like this. There are people who work like this. There are people who does governance like this. This is something important in a child. That's it. And then you need to take tests on it. So there is a good, there is a, a, a so, yeah. So people, uh, so who should do it? People who want to uh, get into bigger agile environment. They don't want to limit themselves to Scrum. And they are looking for something like this in their upcoming career. Should should go for it. Or people who want to call themselves a child project manager. So there are there are the, there is a controversy that how can somebody be called a child project manager? But there are organizations where this designation and role does exist. So if you see uh, on on any job site that you want to become a child project manager, PMI is is a good case. It makes you a child project manager. And somebody would like to go for uh, product owner then CSP. Haan, so CSPO ki bhi baat karte hai. Uh, we, will, we will have another, uh, that's another dimension. So PMI ACP, uh, so money part of it, preparation part of it, it takes approximately one, one and a half month of preparation. It's not like the two days of training and you do exam open book, there is no open book. It requires preparation and that's a good part of it because you end up learning a lot of things. Uh, I, I, I get call from many people who attend CSM training because we also uh, uh, provide CSM training directly or indirectly and this is a training to kari bada because samaj bhi hai. <laughs> so, so in that PMI ACP, make sure that you really samjho agile else you don't pass it. So uh, uh, that is that's the that's the, that's the time I've got, you need to put it. So instead of doing PMI ACP, do they go to do CSP and then say? Yes, one can do that. Uh, and, and I would believe uh, that could be a value proposition if you are thinking of taking Scrum at a scaled level. So that could be a good value proposition. Even even uh, uh, we have started like comboing in these two things. Uh, so we, we have started selling these two things together. Uh, but we will talk about sales. There could be an option. Yeah, there could be a option. So PMI ACP exam 495 US dollar. If you are not a PMI member, if you are a PMI member 495 US dollar. And training training can approximately cost you approximately 12, 12, 12 13,000 rupees plus tax and all those things. So 12, 13,000 is the training cost. And four ninety five dollar is an exam cost. <coughs> Renewal three years. It's a three year cycle. And uh, sixty dollar if you are a PMI member. If you are not, then one hundred fifty dollar. Ah, so thirty PDUs. But since you attend such kind of events, you will get it. So there is a uh, sixty five dollar per annum fee. So just put it in a simple way. So if you want to remain PMI member, you need to pay sixty five dollar per annum. You may want to yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good point, Sanjeev. So now, in order to do a PMI ACP, as a good point from, from Sanjeev, there is an eligibility requirement. Like for CSM, anybody can go and, and give the exam. For PMI ACP, you need to have 800 hours or 1,000 hours of uh, agile experience and 2,000 hours of 1,500 hours of agile. 1,500 hours of agile experience and 2,000 hours of any project experience. So what does it mean? You need to have approximately two years of experience. One year doing project in any environment and one year doing project in agile environment. When we say agile, that will also work, safe will also work, your customized agile will also work, lean will also work, scrum will also work. So it's not a scrum thing, but anything which is iterative, incremental, which involves customers, which engage people, show product demo, will work. Okay? Uh, वो वो कुछ कंपनीज के प्रोडक्ट्स हैं सबके नहीं हैं वो कुछ कंपनीज के प्रोडक्ट्स हैं उसे तो सिंपलीफाई दैट सर्टेन कंपनीज आर पार्टनरिंग विद स्क्रम लाइक्स आउट ऑफ Yes, so yeah, true. So like our content are registered with Scrum Alliance, so we can put them under category B. So if you are taking a PMI ACP training from somewhere and the content and trainer is approved by Scrum Alliance, then only you can get, get both the benefits, else not. Okay, I think we are uh, 
we just have last 10 minutes. <laughs> so, okay, so done with PMI ACP thing? Mm. Yeah, depend upon from where you take it. So if, if your training provider is, is compliant with both the companies, then yes. Yeah, so online uh, SEO's limited option. There are, but there are very limited options. So mostly they will go into a self-study category, not that much useful. So yes, you can claim 16 PDUs. For CS Put them category B. Yeah, category B. B or A? B, B. No, no, PDUs. Not, not SEUs. Okay. Something different. Okay. Safe? PMP, why should one do PMP? You want to talk about it? We have last 10 minutes. PMP, PMP. Okay, I will try, uh, just I will try to give a brief and then we will have offline discussions. I am available here. So this was just to consolidate things. Uh, we just have 5 minutes. Big people are already here. So they will say, certification guy, go away. Shekhar is already uh, pulling me. PMP, why should no, you want PMP? <laughs> so why should one do PMP? See, project management is a mature, industry, it's not going to go away very soon. A lot of scaling framework you see are kind of coming back to those project management things. So, but as a professional, at this point of time, you don't need PMP. Crash, usually when people are working with one team, two teams, three teams in agile environment, they can defer PMP for a later stage. When you get into a program management, account management, deals with vendor, you have multiple teams, and then you need to talk about all the stakeholder management and putting a business case. You need to know PMP vocabulary. Uh, safe, if you attend a safe training, uh, uh, if you are just a general scrum master, you may not understand 20-30% of terms. It says what this portfolio is, what is this business case is, what is this capitalization is. You, we don't get it. What is this net promoter score is? Because they expect you are already there. So they expect a project management vocabulary from you. So a PMP, is, is something which is hygiene factor. You don't get great jobs because of PMP, but you may miss few jobs because of not having PMP. Because there are 5,000 people in India, or over plus minus 5 lakh people who are PMP certified. So at a stage when you think of doing pure management, program management thing, you, you may need to do PMP. And uh, uh, yeah, we in a safe, in, in various things, we are talking about removing project dic from dictionary, we talk about flow based doing things, but it may take, uh, I know, 5, 7, seven 10 years before the project mentality goes away. So just thinking of everything will move to a flow based things uh, will take some time. So in a short, uh, should be done, may not be the first one. Once you achieve that level, then do it. Safe, final topic, yes. another CSC, CST, we talk offline. CSC, this guy, so he will answer a lot of CSC things. He can make you CSC, he can tell you how to become CSC. But yeah, uh, just to short, in, uh, short it, uh, yes, you need to have CSP from last one year. That's a yeah. precondition. Yeah. So you don't, you are not even eligible if you don't have it. And then you need to have a three years of community experience, doing events like this, coming to events like this, and talking events like this. So that's a, that's a basic condition. After that, there's a long story which he can tell. Okay, later. <laughs> Safe. SAFE is, uh, uh, is a framework, you, you heard about it. Now, if you are going further in your agile journey, even I was talking with Mark and all, uh, in, even I was there in regional scrum gathering last week, many speakers assumed that everybody knows SAFE. In a regional scrum gathering, there were speakers, they were directly saying, yeah, we, know, we are using agile and our release train engineer is doing this. Now, earlier we had a problem, agile was equal to scrum. Now, for some, I, I realized in regional scrum gathering, agile was equal to SAFE. So, okay, uh, so I am not saying it's right or wrong, but if you are thinking of agile coach, you need to have awareness of it. Now, it's not necessary to get certified to get an awareness of it. There is a free framework available, scaleagileframework.com. You can prepare, you can know, but yeah, if you want to put a stamp, again, branding thing, you can do safe agilist. It's a CSM kind of process where you go for a training, you, it's an open book test, you get 10 days of window where you can refer the books and everything and, and give the test. So it's more or less like a CSM process. It will cost you approximately 20 or the same, same. So you, the pricing and everything is, is more or less like CSM. Expectation is people should know Agile well before they do safe. If you just jump to a safe, it is not advisable. Yeah, nobody stops you. 
but uh, uh, you may not get the, the maximum value out of it. So first make sure that your agile fundamentals are clear. First make sure that you have some level of project management, program management experience or a vocabulary. And then, yeah, you can learn along as well. But yeah, then safe is good. And yeah, many <coughs> managers are looking towards safe because safe is somewhere where say 100 plus people are working on an agile team. So there we need a management layer. And many managers who are not finding a, a good place for them in, in scrum teams may find a good position there. <laughs> so, so, so that may make sense. So, okay. So, if you are confused about that, I want to become Scrum Master or something, you may find okay, program management, okay, which is called release chain engineer. Yeah, this is a good fit for you. There is a role for product management where people are visualizing product and writing big business analysts. Many project manager may find good fit there. So, that's the answer. Also, the safe gives you a picture beyond the team. So, in Scrum, we just talk about the team and we say that product backlog is there. But from where the product backlog has been coming from, the SAFE tells you all those things. Okay. Then from the team to program and program to portfolio. All the layers have been covered into SAFE. True. So basically True. what is happening at the portfolio level, what the uh, CEO, CTOs and all are doing and how they are filtering basically. And how then it is coming to program level and then at program level what, are, what is happening. And then after that, how is this? Team is executing thing. So that's a that's a great point. And again, there are safe. There are various certificates. There is a safe program consultant. There is a safe agilist. There is safe product own management POPM something. But safe agilist is, is the most the starting point of it. Safe program consultant content wise it is more or less same. But yeah, it has a different positioning. If you are a safe program consultant, then you can train others. So you are authorized to train safe agilist. But yeah, it cost more. It will be two lakh plus. And, and maintaining also cost you approximately hundred thousand dollar per annum. So uh, that's a big thing. You should do it either you, your company is sponsoring it, or you want to get into training and consulting business. If not, then do safe agilist. Uh -huh. If you want to get into business like us, do safe program consultant. <laughs> okay. So final two three minutes. Uh, yeah. So just to give you a certified Scrum trainer. Yeah. Just to give you a view, it's a big path. It's not an easy journey. So just just don't get confused about CSLT or Scrum Trainer. As of now, it's a long way. Uh, so the good thing is you may start thinking about certified Scrum professional first and get engaged in community like these. If you are working in companies, so agile coach. If you move towards agile coach as a role, and then you may find a path for becoming certified Scrum, Scrum Trainer. And in order to become an agile coach, you don't need, so there is no very well defined career path that you need to have five certificates and you will become a agile coach. It's, it's more like you should be able to coach people at enterprise level. Uh, Shekhar spoke about it in his, his hangout also. So in general, when people talk about coach, it is something like enterprise agile coach. Scrum master is also an agile coach for a team level. But when people look for a coach, it means somebody who will maintain, bring, Adaption at, a, at an so enterprise. So there are, there are uh, team level coaches, there are enterprise coaches. So there is a big gap between DSP and CSC because CSCs are enterprise coaches. That is what the expectation from Scrum Alliance is. So, and, and in the re regional Scrum gathering, that's why Scrum Alliance is now coming up with a new certification called as Team Coach. So after CSP, uh, I think that will be ready in the first quarter of next year. So that is what the uh, people told us. Like uh, it is a team coach where it will be a next step for your CSC. I mean for your CSP and then a team coach and then you can be a CSC. That is how uh, they are laying the ladder at this point of time. So the, my advice would be that you can pick as per your business case few, but spend more time in community gatherings like these, develop network, start speaking in their events like these starts writing about Agile and Scrum, put blogs, join discussions on LinkedIn on various groups. Uh, even if you don't know the answer, you ask good questions. Even asking good questions itself gives you a good visibility. And, and those things will add a lot to your learning. Yeah, you may need to have some certificate as a branding thing, but don't undermine the importance of gatherings like these and online discussion. Now, life is moving online. Come to Twitter, start following people like Tathagar, Shekhar, Sakit, Jack Shudhiran, Ken Shuver, Mike Kohan, there are many. So, uh, and they do to tweet about, nowadays if you want to know about something new, like you may get a tweet from Jack Shudhiran. 
So uh, nowadays, the, the hero has to promote his product. There is no marketing company. Yeah? So that's why somebody was saying that, should I change my Twitter handle to discuss it? I said, why is it happening? So people will confuse it. He said, no, no, Deepika Pardot has made Piku. Our handle, because she is promoting Piku. I said, no, no, we are not at that level as of now. As of now, let's keep handler as it is. But yeah, but that is how the reality is. Now you have to, so same way, the, the trainers, the coach, they promote themselves. They talk about their content directly. And Twitter is a good way to interact with them. You can even ask questions to my cover using Twitter. So easy. I was telling Sakit, I attended one of the interview and the person asked that how many Twitter followers do you have? So I tell, so he, he was just judging me on my leadership that how many followers I have. <laughs> The person is going to present here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, done. So, and, and we, we continue talking. Yeah. I would like to call uh, okay. the standard to give you a small Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs>